Welcome to Transformation, straight talk about life, business, and spirituality. And I'm really excited today because today I have back with me the beautiful and positive Sherry Bellew. And we're going to be talking about her beautiful book called Simply Celebrate. And I can't tell you how wonderful this book is because it is truly a book about celebration. So welcome, Sherry. Hey, Carly. I'm so happy to see you again. Me? I can't. <laughs> Me too. I am delighted to have you back because I love talking about celebration. So can you please share with us what was the inspiration behind creating the book Simply Celebrate? Ah, uh, Well, celebration has actually been my practice for many years because I see it as an antidote to the sort of um, depression and anxiety that I've sort of struggled with throughout my life. And I realized at one point that when I was looking for or creating just these small moments of joy and celebration that life started to feel different and so I just sort of casually started jotting down just simple little ideas and I have a friend who's an illustrator who I just love so much and just for fun he started illustrating them and so at some point we were like, hey, you know, this is this is great. Let's let's create a book out of this. And and so that's how it sort of got born. Well, I you're just like one of these people that is really happy and I, even if you look at your background, your your room is very eclectic <laughs> and eccentric in a way. And that's one of the things I actually love about you. Can you share some tips for people on how to simply celebrate? Definitely, because um, for me again, and I just want to say this because I know that you know people often say like, "Oh, you're so positive, you're so bubbly," but the truth of it is, is it's my practice because I don't wake up happy. You know, I don't. I'm not sort of. I don't consider myself a naturally happy person, but I know that as a practice, it really works. And it's the reason I called it simply celebrate is because they don't have to be big things and they don't have to cost money. And so some examples. Like one of the things that's a, a big practice for me um, is really with, with clothing. And it could look differently for, for everybody, but it's like really like allowing myself to wear things I love, for instance. Like so even if I'm just going to Safeway, you know, to get some groceries, a practice of putting on a hat I love or, or grabbing, you know, some really fun uh, scarf, you know, just it, a tiny little thing that says, hey, this moment is unique. This moment is special. You know, I may be going to the grocery store, but that's every bit as much of a celebration of life as a big birthday party, for instance. So I'm going to give one that's really, really silly. <laughs> I love the, cur the, the color purple, and everybody knows that. So, and I'm always talking about simple ways to make someone smile. So one of the things I keep on my desk, and people are going to laugh at this, is a purple pencil and a purple eraser. Now, this is something really silly and simple. However, as you know, I do all these interviews and I'm filming all the time. And you know, things shift and change and ebb and flow. And so I got in the habit of using a pencil and an eraser and using a big huge calendar on my on my desk. And because I found that every time I put all these things in my iPhone and on my computer calendar, it became actually a pain because things were shifting and, and moving so often that I said, you know what, nothing is going into my iPhone or my computer calendar anymore. It's going in pencil first. Uh -huh. and so for sure they're going into the iPhone or computer calendar. And I wanted to make sure they were purple. So instead of getting frustrated when things were constantly being changed and canceled, when I was actually having to change the appointments, I would be in joy when I was changing. Oh. Okay, so and I love the color purple. 
So, you know, I, I, could, I know the minute I pick up the pencil in purple, I would not be in frustration. I'd be like, okay, it's just getting changed again. And because it does, and, and in production, things change all the time. So I'm just erasing and changing, and I'm not getting frustrated. And it is something as simple as purple for me. I yes. love the color purple. And that is something that's simple, simple, simple. Yes, but it's such a beautiful example because it's also something that you're using all the time. And one of the things I loved, I don't know if you ever saw this, but recently, well, maybe the last couple of years, yeah, um, you know the rubber gloves to do the dishes or to clean? And how they've suddenly come out with these like really fun, like they're sort of like animal print or they're bright colors. And I just thought, you know, that's brilliant because that's the simple celebration. Like I'm going to do the dishes. Oh, but look at these fun like gloves I get to wear. You know, it's that tiny little twist that changes it. Just like your, your purple eraser and pencil. I love that. It is. And the other thing I always tell people is do things that make you laugh. If it, whether it be music, right, or it could be jazz, it could be classical, it could be opera. I really tell people if they're down, don't listen to depressing songs. Put on something that's going to lift you up. <laughs> and the other thing I tell people, it could be me. It, go, out, go outside, find a grassy area, find a little woodsy area, and go scream if you have to. But seriously, go do something. Get it out of your system. Go for a sprint. You'd be surprised if you just went outside and ran a quick sprint, how yes. to get out of your system. Or squeeze your body really, 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 really tightly with <laughs> every muscle in your body, and then open your eyes. You, it'll, it'll shift the physiology in your body. Force a smile. When you're actually forcing a smile, it shifts your physiology. Even if you don't want to smile, force a smile. It shifts your physiology. And these Talk things, somebody. I think I think often what happens is people think that's too simple, you know, that can't work. But if, if people really try it, and exactly, I know everything you're saying is so true, simply looking at the sky, you know, there, there are things that it's like, it, it doesn't take a lot. And I think one of the traps that happens is it's like, gosh, I feel so depressed, I can't imagine, you know, these silly little things working, but they do. They, they do. do. And when it becomes a practice, you know, so when it becomes a practice of like, I'm going to try this little thing in the morning and then a couple hours later this thing and then this thing all strung together suddenly you're like wow what an extraordinary day I had and it's, exactly. it's just from those moments another beautiful one I tell clients all the time and that's what I love okay I'm going to go back to this again because we are talking about your book <laughs> is people know that in this book that's what you're going to find you're going to find Sherry's beautiful tips about what to do to say positive. This whole book is filled. And what I love that I'm going to show you is like all the book, it's like very simple, very easy, full of cartoons and pictures. It's something that if you want something that's easy to read, it's light, it's not a huge book. It's just full of cartoons and pictures, you know, and it's something that will really enlighten you. Something that's just very positive, uplifting. I can't tell you how beautiful it is. Aww. It is. It's beautiful. It's uplifting. And it's full of the things that we're talking about. Everything we're talking about here is those types of tips. It's not verbatim everything we're talking about. <laughs> However, it is those types of tips that are going to enlighten you, make you feel good, give you positive energy, positive vibes, whatever you want to call it. That's what it's going to do for you. And that was, you know, that was exactly my hope was by making them really short and simple that not only would they be easy for people to do, but that hopefully, it was my hope that even just, you know, going through the book or just looking through the book, just opening it at random, that in itself would, would feel like a celebration. You know, just the colors and the lightness of it, that um, that's the effect it had on me, and that was what I was hoping for other people. And that it would spark ideas that not necessarily, I mean, I hopefully, you know, I, I know a lot of people love to do the ideas that I suggest, but also I've had a lot of people say, like, oh, wow, when I read that, I thought, I'm going to wear two different shoes today. You know what I mean? Like, that's not in the book, but that it sparked that for someone. You know? Exactly. I think that's the point of a book. A book isn't necessarily that you're going to do everything verbatim that's in the book. The yeah. point of books is to spark your own ideas, your own creativity. And that's the thing is, the, a, a book is, is the idea to learn, play, and grow from. When you mm -hmm. read a book, it's going to inspire you to do your own creativity it's going to give you your own idea, maybe to go write something down, or give you an idea to write even your own book. And actually, the subtitle of the book, by the way, is 101 Simple Ways to Turn Ordinary Days 
into an extraordinary life. So that's the subtitle to the book, okay? And that should give you an idea. 101, 101 tips and tools for you to do with your day. I'm going to give you another one, I think, and I know I've told Sherry this before. That's one of my favorite things to do with people. Every, now not everyone's a parent. And now here's the thing. Even if you aren't a parent, you know somebody who has a child. So I always tell people to do this. Take a picture of your newborn baby. Everyone who has had a baby, if you have a picture of your newborn, now tell me. If you see a picture of a newborn, tell me that does not make you smile and get warm and fuzzy. Right, Sherry? Yes. Have you seen a picture of a newborn baby? What does that make you feel like? Absolutely wonderful. Can't, right? You can't feel bad when you're looking. No. Right. You get warm and fuzzy when you feel, when you look at a newborn baby, you just get so warm and fuzzy. Okay, so here's the thing. This is what you do. You take a picture of a newborn baby, you put it on your iPod, you put it on your computer, you put it on your iPhone or any, any electronic apparatus that you have. The minute you're feeling sad, angry, any of those thoughts that are not positive, you open your apparatus and you look at that baby. And let me tell you, you're going to melt. <laughs> if you're someone who does not have a child, find a friend. Ask them for a picture of their baby and put it on all your apparatuses. And the same thing, when you're feeling sad, mad, you know, whatever the emotion is, look at that baby. You're going to melt and all your worries are going to go. And here's the thing. No matter how bad you think you have it, there's always someone somewhere who has it worse than you do. Think of that. That, you know, and that is one of my all-time favorite antidotes, too, is just the simplest. It was actually my birthday this week. and Oh, yay. I, I sent you. Did you get my picture they sent you? No. You didn't get my, oh, my, on your wall, you didn't get my happy oh, birthday? I, you know what? I have not been through. I'm, I've been blessed with so many messages. I'm going to go after this and find it, though. I sent you a special happy oh. rebirthday card. It's a happy rebirth. Happy rebirthday card. <laughs> I knew you would get that. I it's will a find happy it. happy rebirth. Happy rebirth. You are. So I knew you would get that. It's beautiful. It's all in purples. Oh, Carly, I'm gonna find it right after. But I was I'm gonna, gonna resend it to you. I'm gonna I'm gonna resend it to you in your private inbox. That is perfect. So what I was gonna say is one of the things that I did is I put out um, just a note to people who subscribe, and I just said, if you know someone who's having kind of a hard time, let me know because for my birthday, I turned 49. I'm gonna send 49 handwritten notes in the mail because I love getting mail, and I know it means a lot to people to get mail. And I started getting all these stories that were just so amazing and, you know, a lot of them heartbreaking stories. You know, people who have their mother has died or maybe their son has gone to college and is really having a hard time finding friends or whatever it is, but that I'm just sending them notes from, from the universe. And it's such an amazing way to feel connected to people. And like you just said, it's like really also to just get this perspective on life. Like all, you know, the 10,000 joys and the 10,000 sorrows that we all live with, but staying connected to that and being able to do one tiny thing. I mean, just one handwritten note to each of these people. And it's, it's phenomenal how much that changes everything. It does. Absolutely does. And I, you know, this, this particular little interview we're having is specifically to talk about Simply celebrate, and I just, you know, I, Sherry and I could talk forever and ever and ever, and this particular one was specifically about a review about her book, so for today, this is going to be it, and I am saddened, and at the same time, I know that Sherry and I will be talking again, and again, and again, and again, and so again, for today, we are going to leave you, and know that I love bringing everybody some valuable content, and this is going to be a review, and it will be up on Amazon. So I encourage everybody to go to Amazon and get her book. And please let Sherry, Sherry, can you please let everyone know where they can find you and where they can get your book? Absolutely. Thank you so much. Yeah, Amazon is one place, and um, the other thing is I'm at simplycelebrate.net. 
and we will have, I will put together this on, on a page actually that will have all her information as well. You've been with your host, Carly Alyssa Thorne. You can find me at CarlyAlyssaThorne.com. And thank you so much, everybody, for being with us. We always love to share joy and simply celebration. And it is simply celebrate the book. However, we like to share celebration because life to me is all about celebration. And I encourage everybody each and every day to go out there and learn, play, and grow and just share your joy with everybody. It's just it's an important thing to do in life. And so for today, I wish everybody much happiness and joy and go out there and celebrate. So thank you so much for being with me once again, Sherry. And I look forward to our next conversation. Me too. So, bye, Carly. Yay. Bye, everybody. Have a great day.